Hey guys, David the Fish and Pasture here and today I'm doing a head-to-head -head comparison between the Casking White Max and the Abu Garcia Aura Winch. So I chose these two reels because they are both in that slower range of gear ratio and I use them for the same application. So today I'm going to put them to the test and see which one comes out on top. Here are the different things that we're going to be comparing today. Number one, we'll look at the specs of each reel. Number two, castability. Number three, smoothness. And number four, overall performance. Let's start off by looking at the specs of each reel. Okay, so now we're gonna test castability. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the same deep diving crank bin on both reels. I'm gonna set the brakes so that they're pretty much the same. And then I'm gonna do the same cast on both and try to throw with the same amount of force with both so that we get as even results as possible. I'm gonna start off with the Abu Garcia or a winch. So the Aura Winch performed pretty well. Now we're going to test out the White Max. So here are my observations when it comes to castability. Using the same line, the same lure, the same type of cast, and even pretty much the same settings on both reels, I'd have to say the White Max actually casts easier and much smoother than the Aura Winch. I'm assuming that has to do with the ball bearings, the fact that it has more ball bearings and it has those shielded ball bearings, uh, just really allows you to cast easier. I felt like if I had to exert more force to cast the Aura Winch. When comparing smoothness of the two reels, I'd say overall smoothness, I'd have to give it to the White Max. It's definitely a much smoother reel than the Aura Winch. But I did find something very interesting when I was retrieving that lure. Now with the Aura Winch, I actually found that there was less tension. I felt like if the reel didn't have to work as hard, but it wasn't necessarily getting that lure down to the bottom as quickly or as easily, and it was coming back in a very kind of straight line. Now, when I threw it on the White Max, it was very different. I felt like if the White Max was actually working harder, there was some more tension. I could feel the action of the lure a little bit more, um, and it was actually getting down easier, so it was deflecting, and the action on that lure was a little bit more erratic than with the Aura Winch. Okay, so talking about overall performance now, after testing both of these reels out and just kind of reflecting and using them, um, you know, they're both really good reels and they'll both definitely get the job done for you. Uh, but I definitely have to give the advantage to the White Max and I'll tell you why. Number one is it's much 
less expensive than the Aura Winch. I, I spent a lot more money on this reel than I did with this one. And the build feels incredibly solid. Um, you wouldn't guess that it's an inexpensive reel when you hold it and you use it. It just doesn't feel that way. Um, castability, again, I gave to the White Max. I felt like it feels more smooth and just easier to cast. Um, one thing I will give to the Aura Winch, though, is that I feel like if I had to use less energy when I was uh, reeling back, but at the same time, I feel like if I had to actually reel a little bit faster to get the lure uh, down to its maximum depth as opposed to the white max. So again, both really good reels and both are gonna get the job done. Um, but if I had to choose one, I'd actually have to go with the Casking white max. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this head-to-head -head comparison between these two reels. Remember to subscribe to the channel, to like and to comment on this video, and also to pray, fish, repeat. God bless. I'll see you in my next video.